One problem they've had since the get-go is Mr. Black's aggression at mealtime. Can you eat, puppy? Here you go. Hold on. Don't touch my food. Like, Whoa. that made me jump. <laughs> and it's not like I'm yeah, trying to take away bitten. his food. Don't it's get just bitten. It's <laughs> just that you know I'm just like coming to say, hey. Oh. I'm just coming to see if he's okay. Well, I would say that that's a real food god of there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, he loves to eat. Is he peeing? <gasps> he's peeing. Oh, he just peed. Wow. So that's a another expression of his discomfort with you being around his food. And it's fascinating because I've actually, I I've, I've never ever seen a dog do that before. Really? Ever see them eating, and you come and stroke them, they growl and they pee. Oh my God. But I know why it's happened. Uh huh. It was really interesting for me to see the behavior of Mr. Black around his food bowl. He peed. I hadn't seen that before. That showed me that Mr. Black's very, very confused, that he's protecting his food, but he's anxious about it too. I'm going to put some treats in this hole here, put it down on the ground, and let him get the treats. His guarding issues could come out here with this, so that's something you do have to be aware of. I first of all made it easy for Mr. Black to find the treats, and then I began to hide them in different spots where Mr. Black had to either push something with his nose or with his paw. He's using his scenting abilities, which is very important. That's stimulating his brain. Good boy, you're getting it. To switch things up a bit, Victoria has Damien introduce a second toy. What do you think about these toys? Well, I think that he loves them. He loves anything where he can get some food, and this is new for him, too, so he's very curious right now. Yeah. Mr. Black is engrossed in the toy, and Victoria notices another good sign. There's food in there, and you stroked him, and he didn't do anything. Mm hmm So good. The fact that he's playing with his owners and there's food in the toy, they can touch him and play with him is really, really important. That's beginning to desensitize their presence to his food. Encouraged by Mr. Black's progress, Victoria feels it's time to tackle the issue of food guarding head on. One of Mr. Black's most severe behaviors is his food aggression around his food bowl. And that's something you've got to take care of. The secret is, instead of him seeing your presence around his food bowl as competition, I want him to see your presence around the food bowl as something gets added to it. Okay. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. So, he probably thinks I put some food in his bowl. Put it down there. That's weird. Nothing in it. Oh, you want some food, do you? Good boy. Good boy. This is teaching him, I am in charge of the food. I am the provider, not the taker away. I provide. And when he looks at me, he gets more. Oh, good boy. Good boy. The next step is to move even closer in a non-threatening way. I'm going to sit here. I want Mr. Black to see that me being close to the food bowl is not a threat to you. Now here, you'd be tempted to stroke him, but I just wouldn't. It's going to take a, a, at least a week. So I don't want you to touch him or anything. Well, that's very good, isn't it? Pick up the food bowl, good boy. You are the keeper of the food bowl now. Okay. Um, now the reason why I've done it now is because it is a dangerous thing and you have to be very, very careful. Under Victoria's guidance, Latoya takes her turn feeding Mr. Black okay. with dry food. And then we're gonna put down his food bowl right there. I was kind of nervous at first because I'm so used to Mr. Black snapping at me whenever I come near his food bowl. Wait till he looks at you. Good boy. Add a bit. There you go. 
it takes a little while, but Mr. Black is starting to get this new concept. Later during mealtime, the couple just can't seem to agree. No, but she told us to do this too. Yeah, but I think this is easier. This morning when we were feeding Mr. Black, I had to fuss at Latoya a little bit. Some more? She was feeding Mr. Black out of her hand, but that's not what Victoria told us to do. Why are you doing that? She didn't say do that. Well, I mean, it still gets him comfortable with me touching his food. Well, I mean, you should probably ask Victoria if that's OK. Damien's being a little nitpicking about stuff, everything that I do with Mr. Black. Victoria said not to do that. And, you know, but whatever. Good boy. I specifically told you, Latoya, not to touch him while he's eating. No petting him, Latoya. Oh. oh, my bad. This is easier just doing it like this. It's time for Latoya to account for her actions at mealtimes. I'd asked Latoya not to pet Mr. Black while I was away, but she had. It didn't elicit an aggressive response, thank goodness. Good boy. No petting. Oh. Why did you suddenly start touching him? Uh, I think it was just more impulse. When you go too fast, you set your dog up for failure. You don't want to undo all the training you're doing. You've got to give the dog time to acclimatize. And then when you get to a point, then you can be introduced touching again. And, and now that Mr. Black has had a full week with the new mealtime routine, Victoria feels it's time to take it to the next level. When you actually start to touch a dog with food guarding issues, you have to do it very, very carefully and specifically. Victoria uses the same technique of feeding Mr. Black bit by bit. He's got to be in the act of eating before he gets something better. Good boy. Then, Victoria adds a treat, paired with physical contact. Good boy, good boy. I add food and I stroke. I add food and I stroke. So I'm pairing the touching with the process of the new food going in. So you see how that builds up a positive association in the dog's mind? Yeah. I think Mr. Lack has come a pretty long way with the food training. I mean, before he peed on the floor and was growling at us. So the fact now that he's calm, he isn't so tense is really good for us. You've got to continue with this for a good long while until for him it's no big deal at all. All right, don't stroke him too much because then he's just going to get irritated. Okay. But just two or three times per meal. 